disagreement at the state capitol on how to spend tens of millions of dollars from a nationwide opioid settlement. Plus, Columbia County now opening several roads to ATV and UTV users. And later, our traveler Mark Kane heads to Rock County to check out some of the interesting residents at a local Raptor Center. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. Earlier this month, Wisconsin received its first $6 million from a massive lawsuit settled with multiple drug manufacturers due to the opioid crisis. The state will receive about $31 million this year and $400 million in total. But those funds are on hold for now after the state's budget writing committee blocked the funds from going through. Political reporter Will Keneally has more on how this may play out. Will? That's right, Eric. So we reached out to the chairs of the committee and haven't heard back yet on why the funds are blocked, but they say they want to move forward quickly to get the funds out. That comes from a statement released by the two top Republicans on the committee, where they say fighting the opioid epidemic remains a priority, but the state's Democratic Attorney General sees it differently. Uh, and we have, don't even know yet why the Joint Finance Committee is opposing this plan. Um, I think Wisconsinites deserve an explanation and that the Joint Finance Committee should be clear about why they're taking the steps they are. So what happens in these cases is that call represents the state to win the suit. The money then comes back to the state and the Department of Health Services develops a plan. Then the legislature must sign off on that plan. Yesterday, a Republican anonymously rejected the plan. You know, I certainly don't want to see the legislature playing political games to, to stop these funds from getting to the communities that need them. But what does this plan do? The Opioid Initiatives Director for the DHS says it's a matter of meeting state need. The need for treatment exists statewide. It just looks a little different uh, when we compare our urban to rural areas. For rural areas, that can mean access to providers alone. And in cities, that could be just increasing the volume of providers. A big chunk of the money will go toward building improvements along those lines. Uh, we heard from providers who um, have uh, very strong facilities currently operating, but the need is so great that they would like to expand and build on, so it could be used for that as well. So how the settlement will work, the state itself receives about 30% of the funds, but most of the money will go to local governments. Krupski says they will work symbiotically. You know, by making them aware of what our intended investments would be. Uh, we view that as, as uh, you know, helpful guidance in them determining how they could use the funds that are coming to them locally. So the legislature's budget writing committee will amend the plan moving forward, but the members have given no indication on what that might look like. Well, thank you. Next at six, a surprise in Janesville, Congressman Brian Stile presented three Healthcare Hero Awards during an event at Mercy Health Hospital. The awards a surprise to those recipients, Claire O'Dell, Amanda Johnson of Mercy Health, and Beth Shower of HealthNet for Rock County. It's very humbling to know that the public realizes what healthcare workers have gone through through this pandemic, and it's just very honoring to know that they recognized us. It's, it's a true honor. I'm still a little bit in shock, actually. And Congressman Stiles says, quote, our community is incredibly thankful for each of our healthcare professionals working on the front lines. Their selflessness, including working extended hours and putting their patients' needs first, should be commended. Let's check your certified most accurate forecast now. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti. Gary? It's warm on the backyard patio, but not uncomfortable warm and uh, right now it's dry across much of southern Wisconsin as we take a look at visible cloud track there are more clouds in the northern portion of the Midwest getting down about as far south as La Crosse but as you take a look at Doppler track there have been some showers and thunderstorms in the La Crosse area moving eastward and another little line of storms developing across central Minnesota but you can see how little of our viewing area is probably going to be affected in areas from say Camp Douglas over toward Nesita might see some showers and thunderstorms over the next hour or so, but much of southern Wisconsin will stay dry. Three-hour future track radar shows the bulk of the precipitation staying north of our viewing area in central Wisconsin. Current temperatures, very comfortable. 79 right now in Madison, 80 in Lone Rock and in Boscobel and across Dane County. There still are a couple places that have hit the 80-degree mark, including 80 in Stoughton. Uh, most areas are in the upper 70s. By uh, later on tonight, look for temperatures to drop into the upper 60s by late evening. Just an outside chance of a shower or thunderstorm, mainly north of Wisconsin Dells. Better chances for rain will come in for the weekend. I'll tell you how much we can expect in just a few minutes. Gary, thank you. New at 6, the man charged in connection with an east side homicide from last month is back in Wisconsin now. Police arrested 27-year-old Akil Lowe earlier this month in Dayton, Ohio. He has since been extradited to Madison and today in court was given a $1 million bond. The shooting on July 22nd near Warner Park left 18-year-old Laron Bynum of Milwaukee dead. He was found inside a stolen car on 
Volland Street and died at the scene. And Madison police are looking for another shooting suspect after a man was shot early this morning. Happened on East Main Street about 1 a.m. The victim taken to the hospital is expected to survive. Police say it's unclear what led to that shooting, but say it was a targeted incident. In Milwaukee, a family of three now traumatized after an intrusion into their home. A mother of two heard her children screaming. She immediately grabbed her gun and shot and killed the man. Bruce Harrison with the story. Showering up for work, a routine morning shockingly disrupted. A mother on this block says she heard the screams of her children and a strange man. I spoke directly with the mother who asked we not share her name, face, or even voice for fear of retaliation. Dripping wet, she says she ran to her bedroom, grabbed her gun, and faced down the intruder. She says the man charged, undeterred by her dogs, and she shot him in self-defense. Community activist Bushra Rahman helped clean up the home after authorities removed the body. She was scared because her children were there with her, so she did what any mother would do. She defended her children. And Police have not identified the man. They arrested the mother and then released her several hours later after questioning. Police have now referred the shooting to the district attorney's office. In today's day and, health, day and age with mental health and everything else that's taking place in the world, I mean, you better protect yourself. To be honest, you have to. The mother says her children are traumatized and they'll move out once they find a new place to live. It was an act of self-defense. Somebody comes in your house, what do you call them? Yeah. So, yeah. That was Bruce Harrison reporting. The mother says she bought the gun 10 years ago after finding a man sleeping under her son's bed. She said she had hoped she'd never have to use it. More local news now. Madison-based artist Laleda G, along with volunteers and UW students, teaming up today to paint a series of murals at the UW South Madison Partnership Office. Those murals reflect G's bold and colorful style and are designed to inspire the community and families that use that location for programming. Four-wheelers are getting the green light on many roads in this part of the state. Somewhat new, though, for Columbia County. Catherine Merck asked the Sheriff's Office how they'll help balance the freedoms of the open air and open roads with safety. She's back from Columbia County tonight with some answers. Catherine? It looks a lot different from something you'd typically see on a highway in an urban area, and that makes the rules to drive ATVs and UTVs quite different, too. That's what kept ATV drivers away from roads like some of these. Columbia County approved that ordinance that allows these vehicles back in March, but the sheriff's office told me it took time to get all the signs up. Other counties have allowed ATV and UTV riders on these roads for years. The sheriff explained to me some of the factors that make Columbia County's rules different and what further discussion decided to change that. A lot of it comes down to one, how many vehicles are traveling on these roads on a daily basis. Uh, two, how much truck traffic or other vehicle traffic is there, such as Amish buggies. And three, proximity to uh, entrance ramps for like the interstate, I-39, I-90, I-94. Though passing this ordinance has been great news for ATV riders, the county is stressing the importance of knowing the rules of the road. These vehicles are smaller than cars, and everyone getting on one needs to be aware of the rules based on the county where they live. Catherine, thank you. More to come on News 3 Now at 6. The Big Ten announcing a massive new broadcasting deal where you can watch the games beginning next year. Plus, where you can go to get some free back-to-school supplies tonight. That story coming up. Visit Menards Lighting Showroom and find your style with Patriot Lighting Ceiling Fans. Update the look of your home and cool off, all while reducing energy costs year-round. We carry a great selection of styles and finishes of ceiling fans, so you're sure to find the look that's right for you. Save today with 11% off all Patriot Lighting Ceiling Fans. View all of our lighting options now on Menards.com. Trust your feet to Morgan's Shoes. Loa Footwear, a name synonymous with premium outdoor footwear for 80 plus years. Our patented mono wrap construction wraps the foot in a lightweight yet firmly supportive frame. We use a softer polyurethane in our midsoles that provides better shock absorption and ultimate comfort underfoot. Plus, our patented Gore-Tex liner is more durable and creates a smoother fit, thus less potential for blisters or discomfort. Comfort with style. Trust your feet to Morgan's Shoes. Morgan Shoes, Hildale. It's easier to manage my chemo side effects since a great supportive care came to see me. They're taking the time to listen and talk about options for feeling better. 
a grace caring every step of the way. Cookies and briars. That's like getting two desserts. Wait, do we have to thank our moms twice? I don't know. <laughs> briars, 100% grade A milk and cream and loaded with delicious cookie pieces. Better starts with briars. If Tim Michaels is governor, here's what reproductive health care would look like in Wisconsin. Providing abortions, a felony. Exceptions in cases of rape or incest, none. Here's what Michael says to Wisconsin women who get pregnant after being raped. To ask her to go through the birth is not unreasonable. Tim Michaels is a radical and divisive politician coming for your rights. Wisconsin women deserve better. Vote no on Tim Michaels. You are watching News 3 Now at 6. Welcome back for kids and families looking to get some back to school supplies. Today is the day. Over the past several weeks, with your help, News 3 Now has collected thousands of supplies. Right now, it's all being handed out, being distributed at the Boys and Girls Club Allied Drive location. So if you need some supplies, head on over. Distribution ends at 7 tonight. Some financial relief for truckers and farmers. The cost of diesel is down. The national average for a gallon fell to $4.99 today, according to AAA. That's an 82 cent decrease since last month. It marks the first time diesel prices dropped below $5 since early March. Regular gas prices also still heading south, marking the 65th consecutive day for lower prices. And for those who no longer use gasoline, car and driver out with its electric vehicle of the year. And this year's winner is not a Tesla, but instead Hyundai's Ionic 5 car and driver pointed to the car's performance. It gets up to 320 horsepower from two electric motors and its ability to charge quickly, all for a relatively affordable price by comparison. Starting at about $41,000, it's the second year car and driver has awarded an electric vehicle of the year. Big news for college football fans today. Big Ten football coming to CBS. The conference announcing a new agreement with CBS along with Fox, NBC, and the Peacock streaming platform. The record-breaking broadcasting agreement worth $7 billion. College football games will begin broadcasting on these channels next fall and continue through the 2029-2030 season. And still ahead tonight, a News Now exclusive, an inside look at a local Raptor Center and its unusual residence inside. Plus, the rain is on the way. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti will have his complete forecast when we come back. It's Slumberland's anniversary sale, and to celebrate, we're stacking the deals. Buy any sofa or sectional and get 20% off your second purchase. Get another 20% off both items. Plus, we are still offering great special financing at Slumberland Furniture. Attention homeowners, we started with 50. Now we're looking for 30 homeowners who need new windows. We want to take your old windows out and install new Eco Sky windows, featuring Sky Mirror technology to give your home an energy upgrade. Call Mad City Windows, Wisconsin's number one remodeler and trusted local source for the new Eco Sky windows. Act now to be one of 30 homeowners who receive special savings with free installation on a house full of new windows. 18 months, no interest, no payments. Senior and military discounts will take before and after pictures and compensate you for your time. Call during this program and receive a free $50 Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call now with zip code and location to qualify 608-338-1616. That's 608-338-1616. Before treating your chronic migraine, 15 or more headache days a month, each lasting four hours or more, you're not the only one with questions about Botox. Botox prevents headaches in adults with chronic migraine before they even start, with about 10 minutes of treatment once every three months. So ask your doctor if Botox is right for you, and if a sample is available. Effects of Botox may spread hours to weeks after injection, causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away as difficulty swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, or muscle weakness can be signs of a life-threatening condition. Side effects may include allergic reactions, neck and injection site pain, fatigue, and headache. Don't receive Botox if there's a skin infection. Tell your doctor your medical history, muscle or nerve conditions, and medications, including botulinum toxins, as these may increase the risk of serious side effects. 
In a survey, 92% of current users said they wish they talked to their doctor and started Botox sooner. Plus, right now, you may pay $0 for Botox. Learn how AbbVie could help you save on Botox. It's Slumberland's anniversary mattress sale, and we've got great deals and specials on mattresses. Like a free bedding bundle with select mattress purchases of $5.99 or more. That's two free pillows, a sheet set, comforter, and two pillowcases. Free! Only at Slumberland Furniture. You are watching News 3 Now at 6. Welcome back. When a bird of prey needs help in southern Wisconsin, many end up at Who's Woods Raptor Center in Milton. As our traveler Mark Kane discovered, Who's has a lot of interesting residents. Here at the Who's Woods Raptor Center, the philosophy is simple. Help birds of prey through education, rehabilitation, and conservation. The nonprofit center was founded by Diane Mahler 25 years ago, but this was a lifetime in the making. I have always, ever since I was a young girl, had a love for wildlife, especially birds. That love blossomed one day by chance. I found a great horned owl injured. And it was my first encounter with a wild owl. I didn't know what to do. And we had a man in this area who rehabbed for a number of years. And I volunteered for him just a handful of times. And he said, my dear, I think this is your niche. This is your calling. Diane became licensed, started a rehab facility, and then decided she needed to educate people about these birds, these magnificent birds of prey. She's visited thousands of schools and nursing homes and various groups, and she has some great educators to help spread the message. Twelve birds brought to the center that, for one reason or another, couldn't be released back into the wild. Here's a who's who at who's. This is Oopsie. He's a northern saw-wet owl, and he was recovered two years ago um, at the Fitchburg Public Library. He flew into a window. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that is why they're called a saw-wet owl, okay? Saw-wet owls are the state's smallest. Oopsie weighs just three ounces. He's the smallest ambassador who also makes the biggest impact. <coughs> Clark is a 10-year-old barred owl. This is Caitlin. She's our education peregrine falcon. She's eight years old. Caitlin is actually one of the MG&E peregrine falcons who are hatched in a nest box in downtown Madison. And they are remarkable. They're the fastest animal on the planet. They can dive over 200 miles an hour. When a peregrine falcon dives, they can withstand a G-force of 25 to 30 Gs. This is crazy. This is crazy. It's just crazy. This is Queen. She's a great gray owl. They are the tallest owl in the world. In my 25-year career, never did I think that we would have a great gray owl for education. Um, they're not endangered or threatened. They're just not common. If looks could kill. She's a wonderful foster bird. The stars of the show here are the eagles. 15-year-old Madeline was hit by a car and can no longer fly, but she's a great ambassador. Hey, ma hey Madeline. Are you going to posture at me? And the newest addition is 14-week-old Marlene. His parents built a nest in downtown Janesville at the Marlene Lumber Store. A heavy rain sent the two-ton nest and then 8-week-old Marlene crashing to the ground. He had become a local celebrity. The badly injured bird was found and is now rehabilitating. Maybe one day can be released. That's always the goal here. Some 60% of the raptors who come here are released back into the wild. And when that happens, it's an event. It's very rewarding to release a bird when you see them coming in, they're sick, they're injured, and to just evolve into what they were before they were injured or sick. You know, just these magnificent birds that, you know, fly away back to freedom. And not just fly, but soar like an eagle. Traveling in Milton, I'm Arcade, News 3 Now. Now, Diane wants to emphasize the Who's Woods Raptor Center is not open to the public, but she does programs all across the state. For more information on how to schedule one or to donate to help this nonprofit, go to whoswoods.org. Such a great stretch of weather we've had. When can we expect some rain? Here's Gary with your certified most accurate forecast. Well, some of us may be seeing some showers or thunderstorms at some point this evening. You can see a batch of showers and storms right around Toma, moving almost straight eastward toward areas north of Mauston over toward uh, Camp Douglas. And it looks like a shower trying to develop 
helpful for parts of southern Sauk County around uh, Plain, but for the most part, southern Wisconsin will stay precipitation free through the evening hours. Farther out to the west, you can see a line of showers and storms developing through central Minnesota back into Iowa. These will weaken as they push eastward. You can see this on six hour future track radar. You can see how the showers and storms kind of break apart. The air is a little bit drier in far southern Wisconsin, but northern parts of the state will see better chances for rain and a big upper level low pressure system. You can kind of see the rotation here in the precipitation echoes that will move very slowly eastward over the next couple of days and be almost right over us, increasing our chances for rain as we go into the weekend. Severe weather threat tonight out across parts of western Iowa where there's already a severe thunderstorm. Watch a marginal risk for an isolated severe thunderstorm for tomorrow across eastern Iowa and then down across eastern Iowa and northwestern Illinois for Saturday. We could see a couple of thunderstorms with frequent lightning and some heavy downpours, but that'll be about it. You can see what I talk about that uh, area of low pressure aloft on future track radar. Watch these little bands of showers and thunderstorms kind of rotate around the area of low pressure centered across Minnesota. So one band will come through tomorrow morning, then a break, then the next band of showers and storms pops up late in the afternoon and moves eastward, and then a bit of a break. Then you can see the low kind of drifting farther to the south, and then eventually it'll shift eastward. But on Saturday, we'll see bands of showers and thunderstorms. Not an all-day rain, but it rains, it could come down hard. And eventually, as that low shifts off to the east as we head into Sunday morning, we'll be on the back side of it. Lots of clouds, but on Sunday, the showers and thunderstorms will be more widely scattered. So not everybody may see them. Skies already start to clear back to the north and west as we head into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. We're looking for a decent period of dry weather. So three things you need to know in the forecast. Still be warm for tomorrow. High temperatures in the lower 80s. Slight chance for a shower or thunderstorm tonight. Better chances during the day tomorrow. Best chances Friday night into Saturday. And a, a chance on Sunday in the dry weather. Pleasant conditions from Monday through Wednesday of next week. Look for a high temperature tomorrow of 82 degrees with partly sunny skies. There'll be some chances for showers and thunderstorms across Dane County, 78 for the high in Mount Horb, 79 in Belleville. Again, some chances for showers and thunderstorms, especially late in the afternoon. Planning your day, most of the activity tonight stays to our north. Then as you head into uh, hours after midnight, the activity in Iowa starts shifting eastward. You can see a few showers and thunderstorms around sunup tomorrow. Those shift off to the east, drive for part of the day tomorrow, and then you can see as we head into tomorrow afternoon, the next batch after showers and storms west of Madison over toward Lone Rock, uh, shifting eastward. Rainfall amounts through the weekend, probably about a half inch to an inch generally. A few places could pick up a little bit more than that in a heavier shower or thunderstorm. Once the rain ends on Sunday, we have three days of dry weather, or actually four, almost four days of dry weather from Monday through Thursday. Slight chance for a thunderstorm late Thursday, and then a chance for showers and storms Friday, and a slight chance for next weekend. And coming up in sports, Graham Mertz building up the chemistry with his young ride receivers. Why one guy that's been standing out at fall camp is Skylar Bell. He's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. You know, higher temperatures lead to higher power bills. So this summer, call Mad City for our exclusive Eco Sky windows with a higher energy rating than other windows on the market. And now 30 homeowners will save with free installation on a house full of new windows. 18 months, no interest, no payments. Call during this program and receive a free $50 Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. At Bachman Pools and Spas, we have 25 hot tubs on display. Several models available for immediate delivery. For a limited time, all new hot spring spas come with a revolutionary freshwater salt system for free. That's a $1,200 value. You owe it to yourself to experience soft, natural, healthy water. Hurry in to take advantage of special 0% interest for 60 months. Plus, get a free freshwater salt system. Relax. It's Bachman's. Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them, why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Donate today. Extipated. Feeling weighed down by a backed up gut. Miralax is different. It works naturally with the water in your body to unblock your gut. Free your gut and your mood will follow.
follow. Made in America is more than just a slogan. It's smart policy. When we manufacture things here, our shelves are stocked, and it creates jobs you can raise a family on, like my parents had. My mom was a teacher, and my dad worked third shift. I'm tired of the excuses from millionaires running the Senate. I'll bring manufacturing back here so folks like you who actually earn your paychecks finally get a fair shot. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. For kids, inadequate access to food can cause more than just hunger pains. Tomorrow morning, Chris Reese breaks down the health impacts of food insecurity. And we're tracking showers and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon and evening. I'll have what to expect tomorrow at 4.30. As the fans should be encouraged by the Wisconsin's passing attack this season, well, Graham Mertz smiled and said they will be. One reason could be the play of Skylar Bell. The redshirt freshman receiver is having a heck of a fall camp. His name is always the one that's brought up when you're talking about guys who stand out. Bell's catching everything, coming in early, staying in late, and most importantly, building up that chemistry with his quarterback. He's doing a fantastic job this uh, this fall camp of kind of really stepping into that that role and owning it. And um, I mean, every time I throw him a ball, I know he can go get it. So I mean, that's the trust you want to build up during camp. You know, we've got uh, some chemistry going. You know, we're getting more familiar with each other. Uh, you know, routes are starting to get you know more crisp. The time is there, and you know, I just I just can't wait to get out there with him. When Mike Yankee started with the Wisconsin Dells football team, he was a volunteer assistant middle school coach. Fast forward to now. He's the leader of the program who's coming off their first undefeated regular season since 1986. He earned his way up to head coach, and that's exactly what he's preaching to his chiefs. Set. Physical. We're not a very complex team. We just go out and see who's more of the man, really. Smash mouth. Yeah, we play aggressive. 11 hats to the ball every time. Wisconsin Dells football. That they buy in very well. I mean, they, they know it, and they're very, very physical. And they have to be. Good, scoop it and go. As the defending South Central Conference champs, there's a bullseye on their back. We're going to have to earn it every day. We're going to get everybody's best shot, um, and, and we know that. And that's where Mike Yankee's earn it mantra comes in. Regardless if it's a state contender team or if it's a nobody, we got to earn it. Swing right, swing right. But when Yankee preaches it to his team... It shows that if you put in the work, you'll get what you want. He's not just talking about earning it on the field. We talk about what we want to accomplish on the football field, but then taking it off as well, whether it's in the school or the community. Go. They learn those life skills, and, and I mean, it, it applies to everywhere. That goes into anything in life. If you're going to be prepared to go out and earn it, you're going to naturally go farther in life and easier than someone who wants or expects things to be given to them. And thanks to Yankee. Move the feet, move the feet, move the feet. The Chiefs are ready to go earn it in life. Brewers looking for the series split with the Dodgers and Andrew McCutcheon brought his big bat to the ballpark today. He hit not one but two dingers. Brewers get the win five to three in the final. Split with the Dodgers. Mm, that's big. Oh, I gotta stay keep pace with those Cardinals. Folks, thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 6. Have a great evening, and we'll be back here tonight at 10.